Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on November 10th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and a look at weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun at the last 48 hours. Pretty active little sped up imagery there from Solar Dynamics Observatory, not sure what's going on. But we did have a sizable C-class solar flare taking off from an Earth, somewhat of an Earth-facing position. One CME has shot away, but not towards Earth. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, pretty intense sunspot region on the right-hand side, and as well coming in on the left-hand side. Looking at outgoing, we do have some bright active regions turning away. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Only the one C-class solar flare to talk about in which we can see here in this a closer view. All right, there. Having a look at multi-spectrum. Just pointing out the active regions. Another look at our sun. Elongated filaments stretched across the southern hemisphere, those long black lines. Visible here at 193 angstrom as well. Able to see our heliosphere whipping around all of these solar filaments. Amazing days to be able to have all of this technology and information at our fingertips. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range after you can see there the small spike up into the C class. And then a couple minor B range since then, sitting at a KP of one. Real-time solar wind sitting at 326 kilometers per second. Coming down ahead of our next uh, solar event, which we will see an increase in solar wind speeds, density, and as well an increase in seismicity across the world just in time for all these deep earthquakes that are happening. Coincidental or not, having a look here at Lasco 2, sun diving comet creates a huge explosion on the sun. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. This is showing sun's energy taking off. In this, See that bottom frame there? Sunspot crashing into the sun, and it appears to cause a huge explosion in the southwest region where it went into our sun and that bright star coming around is mercury correction not mars <clears throat> having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral cme taking off towards parker solar probe schumann residence for today is a power of six quick look at the telemetry quality of 6.8 amplitude six and a power four earthquakes very quiet, low numbers right now, just kind of waiting. Calm before the storm, maybe. We did see some very deep and large earthquakes in Fiji yesterday. Saw 5.2 Port Oroi, Vanuatu today. And a couple more deep earthquakes followed after this Fiji event. Still expecting a larger shallower earthquake to, to rumble. And I'm thinking Indonesia up into the Indian plate. Because we saw 5.4 there today. Shiyomi, India, 5.4 earthquake. And way too quiet through the Philippines. Banda Sea, Papua New Guinea. 4.6 here to report Hasaki, Japan. As well, Kamchatka seeing a 4.4. And as well, South and Kuril Islands, 4.4. Over into Alaska. Minor seismicity continues rumbling away. United States, largest through the region, was a 3.0 magnitude in Manandero, BC. Overlooking Hawaii, a sizable 3.6 Hawaii. And it, that was over Kilauea, Southeast Rift, South American Plate, way too quiet. Greece, or sorry, Italy, saw another 4.3 earthquake today. 
and this has been increasing the last few days, 4.5, then a 5.6, and now 4.3. Lots of activity through the Mediterranean right now. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, and be ready. Hashtag no fear here. This channel is not a fear-mongering channel, just keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily events worldwide. Earthquakes, volcanoes, extreme weather, and space weather. Quick browse here the last seven days across the world. Seems to be pretty quiet right now, especially when we're expecting something large to come. After all those Fiji earthquakes yesterday, very deep and large. North American plate, Philippine plate, and up into India. Heads up. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world, and as well, the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Sabancaya in Peru. Many flood alerts now popping up across South America. Tornadoes through South Carolina and Florida. Sabancaya in Peru. Sangue in Ecuador. Fictitis. This is a new volcano in South America that has awakened. Fictitis 2. Volcanic Range. Fuego in Guatemala. Still have Tropical Storm Nicole heading up into southeastern parts of the United States and is set to join forces with an Alberta Clipper for a possible superstorm heading into northeastern states and Atlantic provinces of Canada. Notable here all this activity through South America, Sangay and Nevadas de Ruiz and Raventador. Tornado, Charleston, South Carolina. And those watches and warnings most likely will continue here for the next couple hours until sundown. And then ramp up even further over the next couple days as Tropical Storm Nicole moves northwards along the east coast. Quick browse here around the world for weather and as well the most recent volcanoes, Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Era in Japan, Popo in Mexico. And there are so many flood alerts, active hazards across the world. Heads up, stay safe. This is an app that you can all get, Disaster Alerts. You can get more detailed watches and warnings. Pretty much right now, we're just sharing all the icons around the world of where there are floods, fires, earthquakes, and as well, extreme weather. Notable there, Madagascar and South Africa, and as well, Uruguay, Brazil border, Argentina. Stormy conditions continue, as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Speaking of which, let's get to the five-day forecast here. Watching Tropical Storm Nicole over the next couple of days is going to bring some moisture to Ontario. And as I said, northeastern states. Watch for it to be pretty cold on the backside of the system. Flurries will fly across Ontario. Gulf Storm here forming in the long range next Tuesday to Wednesday. As well as a Colorado low, which most likely will bring Quite a snowy event for Colorado. Watching all the systems coming in in the Pacific Ocean. Heading towards northern BC and Alaska. Heavy snowfall and then long range forecast. All this rain is set to head straight into the border with Washington. Overlooking South America the next few days. As forewarned here, the storms will continue. Torrential downpours and extreme weather through Buenos Aires, Brazil border. No new weather events to talk about coming out of Africa. 
Europe, same thing. You've got a low heading through Italy this week. Other than that, most of the systems are staying out into the Atlantic right now. Until about Wednesday or Thursday, you got a big system coming through. And then possible cyclone here heading towards India and Yemen at the same time. Two possible tropical systems heading inland at the same time. Two different car two different parts of the world. And that is for next Friday into Saturday. Overlooking the rest of the West Pacific. Daily evaporation rains across Indonesia will be heavy next week. Overlooking Australia. Seems to be a streamline of moisture heading across eastern parts. Flood watches and warnings continue. Daily evaporation rains. New Zealand, you've got a stormy week ahead of you as some lows creep south and come in from the north from to you. Quick show here at the transition for temperatures over the next four to five days. As it will be pretty cool right across North America and very cold across the North Pole, minus 34 and minus 35 in some areas. So the polar vortex is definitely set up. And as you can see, the upper level winds here showing significant setup as we've got an elongated vortex stretching all the way down to Ontario already and uncoupling now the northern jet stream. Big, strong, high-pressure ridge over the Pacific. Quick browse towards the southern hemisphere over Antarctica as winds are starting to calm down and not be so organized as it was before. Every so often, I do show the upper-level winds here. If you remember the last time, they were a lot stronger. Going to leave you here looking at the snow forecast for the next little while, overlooking Canada, as we will see some lake effect snow for Ontario and as well New York, United States, into Pennsylvania. Tropical remnants of Tropical Storm Martin heading up into Greenland, dumping over 500 centimeters of snow. Parts of Alaska are going to see the same thing 200 centimeters and more. And as well, heavy snowfall through the Appalachians. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. And welcome all of the new family members from around the world. Welcome to the family. And I hope you enjoy these videos. Stay safe. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family across the world.